Hello everyone, thank you for coming back again. I wanted to share with you a flip through of my newest journal. This is a fairy journal that was a commission by a friend for her new daughter-in-law. Favorite color is purple. Um, and I included two little beaded fairy charms along the back side of it there. Those uh, ribbons are what's tying all the signatures in. I used mostly purple, but some blue and a lot of rainbow watercolored papers. Um, a lot of pages are going to have various fairy images. And I printed out fairy quotes, pasted those in. Sometimes if they were short, I just wrote them on the pages. But a lot of little fairy quotes and a lot of little fairy images. Um, I did try something new. Not thoroughly thrilled with some of the results. Oh, this was a giraffe. The girl also loves giraffes, so I made a fairy giraffe. Um, one of the things I'm not thrilled about was I did the uh, taking my printed out image and then coating it with oil to make it more transparent. That does work beautifully. However, if you go to paste them down, even though you've tried to get out all the oil, some of it still seeps through. But other than that, I think it turned out very, very well. I used um, some scrapbook paper. I used graph paper. I used just ruled uh, sheet paper. Um, I used a lot of the... Uh, kind of a watercolory paper. That was fun. I did these big sheets of them and, and just put them up on my drying rack. I uh, had a lot of fun with the uh, watercoloring on the... I'm sorry, my mind's going, I'm tired. <laughs> I did a lot of watercoloring on the scrapbook papers and that turned out pretty neat. Um, you know, the various flowers have different colored backgrounds. Um, I made some tags from scraps and I included, you know, little pockets to put them in. I did include several pages from a coloring book that were mandalas. I just thought they kind of went with the whole thing. Uh, again, each signature is tied in with ribbon, all in purple. Um, when I did write down the quotes myself. I used a gold metallic gel pen so that just kind of added a little more sparkle. I left a lot of blank pages because I have a feeling this girl is very creative. She's also a photographer. She will probably want to add in her own photographs. This page was fun. I found a cute little quote um, about seeds and it reminded me that it should be with a uh, dandelion blossom or you know the, the fuzzy part um, however we have a wildflower here that looks like a giant dandelion and those were actual seeds that I used that I've been saving to replant some again in the spring and I just mod podged them down I uh, did use a lot of little paint samples in purpley colors uh, to add some little color blocks throughout. Um, makes a nice place to stick a photograph, you know, with a little bit peeking through on the edge if you want to do that. Um, I did use some of the uh, uh, paint chip samples to make the pockets. Found some really fun washi tape um, and included that. I've got a couple stickers of butterflies because um, they hang around fairies, you know. Um, I used washi tape to attach pages together. If it was two separate pages, they weren't, you know, wide enough to just fold. And there's a variety of that, usually with some pink or purple included or some blue. Uh, a lot of the watercolor paper, I just, most of them just turned out absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's, I use a wet on wet where I spray it with a water bottle and while it's wet, then I start layering on watercolor. I'm just kind of letting it go wherever it wants to. And sometimes I'll spray it again to make it run more. 
Um, it's really fun. It's fairly easy. You can't really make a mistake with it unless you use muddy colors. And even then, I guess, you know, if that's the look you're going for, that works. Uh, several fairies, I added in some fabric wings, just like I did on the giraffe. It's a fabric I found um, of butterflies, and I just cut the fabric uh, wings out. But, you know, I had a lot of fun with this. This was a little bit of a challenge. The first page I worked on did not work out, um, and that was really sad. I found a, a picture of a uh, baby nestled in, you know, her little blanket, and I did uh, leaves and uh, petal blossoms all around it. Unfortunately, when I went to attach it in, um, the glue just totally rippled to the worst extent you could think of the image and I just was not happy with it so I I I just tossed that one you know if I'm not at least happy with it I'm not going to put it in especially not when somebody's paying for it so that one had to go bye bye but other than that I think it's turned out very well um, I just love the watercolor pages I you know, they just seem to suit the, the fairy theme. You know, they could be sky, they could be water, just about anything. I did use a little bit of uh, glitter here and there. And each page is actually sprayed with a spray glitter that's sealed in. Um, that is, you, you want to check out my little review on the spray glitter. Uh, you can, it's in a previous video. Um, it's a little bit messy, but I like the effect. It's very, very subtle. You won't even see it in this video. Um, but, you know, if you're holding the book in your hands, you see it. And it's just a very light, light, very fine glitter throughout. So, you know, it's been dusted with fairy dust from all the fairies that came to visit. Um, this page was fun the one with all the circle flowers. What I did was I painted each flower in a color and it bled through to the back just like that. I didn't do anything extra to the back. Again, lots of blank spaces for her own journaling and for her to add in her own pictures or you know whatever she wants. I really liked this little image. Um, I actually colored when I colored the images, they're colored in with Prismacolor because my color ink is out right now. And it's not on the budget to get any. Um, that was a little pocket. You can stick more things in that little envelope pocket. More fairies. Lots of fairies. And more giraffes. I found some really cute images of giraffes. And we're getting there. We're almost done. This was a big book. This was a college textbook when it first started. I think that's why the image of the baby's face just really didn't work. The pages were so thin. And there's the end. And I added one more pocket with one more tag with a little uh, snowflake attached at the top, just like I did on the very front. And the back is purpley and blue. The front is all purple. There's all of the uh, signature ties there at the back, along with a piece of tulle. I just love this fairy image from the front and what I did was I did take a silver metallic pen and kind of highlight and then add in some more sparkle and then she's got uh, four little pieces of uh, snowflakes there too. So thanks!